Today on Adventures and Things, I become a crabby adventurer. things okay so we're in some sort of uh, nature park that I just stumbled upon here in Krabby and it looks pretty incredible mangroves are a type of coastal ecosystem found in tropical and subtropical regions around the world they consist of trees and shrubs that grow in saline coastal sediment habitats such as estuaries tidal flats and lagoons what makes mangroves unique is their ability to thrive in saltwater environments thanks to a variety of adaptations some mangroves you see will have aerial roots. They develop aerial roots that extend above the soil and water, enabling them to access oxygen in waterlogged soils. Mangroves are also great for coastal protection. They act as a natural buffer against coastal erosion and storm surges. Their dense root systems stabilize shorelines and reduce the impact of waves and currents. So that right there is a mud crab home. So what mud crabs do is gather a bunch of mud and put it together, compact it into that little home. And it's pretty neat. Honestly, there's a bunch of different sized ones. I don't know if that's like different sized families or just like richer mud crabs building bigger homes, whatever it is. But it's kind of cool to see those and know that there's crabs inside of that, that those are full of crabs. Kind of like me when I left Bangkok. There is, right over yonder, boop, right there, there's a cave. I gotta figure out how to get a boat over there because I ain't swimming in that river because I don't know what's in there, whether it's dysentery or crocs or sharks. I walked to the end of this path and there was a dock, but there were no boats in sight to take me across to the cave. I mean, I did find a boat, but I'm not sure it would make it. So I walked back and ran into some damn monkeys on the path. So not at all related to the monkeys, I decided to take the scenic route back to my hotel and try to find a boat across this river. Apparently there are quite a few boats that are along some of the other docks that will take you across the river. I was told to haggle with them and that I should pay around 300 baht. So ready to haggle, the fella came out of the gate with 300 baht, and I was like, yeah right, 400 baht. And the sucker took it. Now there's one born every minute. Okay, so I took a boat to get across that river there to get over to the cave. I do gotta be careful because of monkeys, so I'm gonna put my camera away so they don't steal it. But we're gonna go up to the cave first. Oh, I hope there's no monkeys, I hate those things. So you're probably sitting there thinking, what is this guy's issue with monkeys? Well, let me tell you a little story about something that happened to me in Da Nang, Vietnam. I was up at the Lady Buddha statue, just wandering around having a lovely day. I saw some monkeys off in the distance. So I put on my zoom lens, filmed them for a little bit, and we had a great interaction. They went their way, I went my way. Then I had about 15 Dr. Peppers and I had to pee. So I go in to pee and as I come out, bam, there's a monkey right there staring me down. It's like, oh, I got you, buddy. I'm like, ah, don't touch me. Me. Anyways, you're probably now thinking, but Mike, you're so much bigger than this monkey. Surely you could take it. Yes, I am bigger. I am bigger, but they're crazy. They're crazy. They'll rip your face off. And I happen to like my face. It's not the greatest face, but it's attached. And that's something that I really do enjoy about it. So anyways, I peek my head around the corner. There's some locals. They have a good laugh at my expense. And I'm like, <laughs> help me out of the bathroom. I'm trapped. So they throw sticks and stuff at it. And I thought the monkey was going to jump into the bathroom. I'm like, no, 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 that's the exact opposite of what I want. So anyways, the monkey jumps up in a tree and I run out of there. Definitely not crying at all. And then a few days later, I'm in Rally Beach in Thailand and there's monkeys everywhere. And I was like, oh, this, this isn't going to be good. And then there's a monkey in a tree and he's like right beside a local guy. And the local guy flicks it in the nuts and the monkey's like, oh, I'll rip your face off. And then he gives him some treats and then the monkey's like, yeah, I can't stay mad at you. And, and it was in at that moment right there that I realized I am very closely related to these creatures. So 
So uh, anyway, so let's get back to the cave in Krabby, Thailand. This cave, which even voiceover Mike cannot pronounce, but is written there for you to see, was formed over millions of years. These limestone caves hold traces of ancient civilizations and serve as a natural wonder in the region. They have been a site of habitation for centuries, with evidence suggesting human presence dating back to prehistoric times. So if you're looking for something fun and really cheap to do here in Krabby Town, I highly suggest you walk the mangrove, take the taxi over. It's dirt cheap to go that way and come over. I took it from way down yonder. It was 400 baht. I probably could have talked them down to 300, but it's me by myself and I've been used to paying extra because I'm alone. And uh, I mean, it's pretty amazing. There's no fee to get into the cave or to walk the mangrove path so you're you're good